Hey guys, I've got an important update on the next shortcut drop, which will be, uh, let's see, August 12th. Um, so about a, a little over a week and a half from now. Uh, this is going to be the last shortcut drop for a while. Um, we're going to be transitioning into a new folder <clears throat> uh, that has the Hawk Lock and Toggle Detent. A little bit of background or kind of an update on what's been going on here in the shop. So, uh, my dad and I started making knives 30 years ago, and we initially uh, were custom knife makers, making a few custom knives. We quickly got interest from the larger knife companies, uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool, uh, specifically for the first one. And so we started licensing designs. Uh, to manufacturers. So Columbia River, Kershaw, Buck, um, Mantis, Chris Reef Knives, um, and, and quite a few others. And so uh, when we were doing that, we, we realized that we were losing a little bit of control in, you know, what materials were being used, country of origin. Uh, we really just wanted more control over our products and our designs. So uh, then Briefly, we had an OEM manufacturer start making knives for us, and there we were having delays in getting the product, and it was just, we still didn't have enough control over the manufacturing process. So we decided, okay, what we're gonna do is hire our own people, buy our own machines, and start our own manufacturing capabilities. <clears throat> and that was about the time we introduced the deadlock, so the deadlock really launched the whole uh, manufacturing, uh, in-house manufacturing. Now, fast forward, this was uh, whatever, 10 years, and here we are now, I have uh, a machine shop, I've got employees, and now I get to really go back to what I enjoy most, uh, and what I'm the best at, or at least maybe not the best in the world, but like what my qualities are, what I'm, what I'm best at, is designing. And the shortcut was really the first um, departure from the deadlock. And this was just kind of a, it was a really fun project. I loved designing this. Uh, I've probably said this in other videos, but I really designed this for myself because I wanted a, an exchangeable razor blade knife. Uh, I even call this kind of dessert designing because it was just enjoyable. I just really enjoyed designing this knife. Um, but uh, the, the point of, of this story is that now that I have this manufacturing capabilities and I have a team in place, uh, I'm going to be going back to designing. And what that means is that not I can't manufacture everything at once. Uh, so to make room for the new design that's coming out, which still does not have a name yet, uh, but again, it's the Hawk Lock folder with a, a toggle detent. Uh, yeah, I've got to uh, slow down on shortcuts while we ramp up and start manufacturing this new knife. Uh, that's not to say that I'll never make shortcuts again, uh, but there is going to be a pause on this project as we switch over. So. Uh, if you've been dying to get a shortcut, uh, this is going to be one of your last chances. Um, and yeah, so that is the update and uh, kind of a background of what's been going on and what's currently going on. So uh, I'll be introducing this new folder. And then after that, uh, I have a whole bunch of uh, 3D printed prototypes. So they're still in the initial stages, but been really getting back into designing fun, interesting uh, knives. So I'm pretty excited uh, for the future of, of Hawk Knives. So uh, yeah, again, uh, August 12th, I'll be doing the drop uh, about a week and a half from today. And uh, let's see, maybe I'll just go through the shortcut real quick um, for those of you that might not have uh, seen this knife before. So. Uh, I call this the latch lock, so uh, the lock 
rides on the frame and as it comes up it goes into that notch so that's what locks it open and then there's a detent profile there so you can see it kind of detents closed uh, you got a flipper here so you flip it open uh, with a little bit of practice you can flick it closed uh, it's hard to do backwards but it's just kind of like a little flick like that of your thumb let's see if i can do that there we go um, machined all the, out of uh, titanium it's got the grip clip, of course, the exchangeable uh, utility blade. This is a standard blade you can buy anywhere. This particular one with the serrations, uh, I actually buy these on Amazon. Quite a few people have asked me where I get these. Uh, to exchange the blade, uh, I provide a T9 Torx tool. Uh, you just do a little quarter turn, loosen that, blade comes out. Uh, and then obviously the reverse to put it back in and you tighten this up. Uh, the reason I like this system so much, one, it's a pretty slim profile, uh, but by using the clamp system, you get to utilize the full length of the, the utility blade. Uh, a lot of the quick change systems, or all the quick change systems that I'm aware of, uh, only allow you to use about that much of the blade. and that's because of the way the mechanism works. It needs the whole blade to hold on to. Um, the other thing I really like about a clamp system like this is the blade is solid. Uh, all the quick change systems, you know, the, uh, the blade is just kind of wiggling around and uh, it seemed in bad taste to make a exchangeable utility knife that has blade play when I'm the inventor of the deadlock with no blade play. So uh, solid blade is important to me. Uh, of course it has <clears throat> bearings inside, uh, two piece handle construction. So the one, one handle has an integral backspacer machined into it and then you've got uh, a cover that uh, screws on the other side. So yeah, anyways, uh, that's the shortcut and the last drop is coming up soon. All right, thank you guys.